Right. Oh, yes, absolutely. So on, I guess on that note, we'll move on to the next segment, which I believe Tulsi Gabbard, she was leaving the Democratic Party because a lot of these topics. Yeah, she, she came on as an independent now. She's yeah. left the, the Democrat Party. That doesn't mean she's a conservative. And, she's got uh, 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 she's got conservative some conservative ideals, and she's obviously got some you know liberal ideals. I would say she's a fair moderate. She yeah. and she's changed her mind on certain some things. I would not call her the icon of conservatism because I don't. I think that conservatism needs to go far more. Like the the right needs to become far more conservative. And yeah. really embrace it hard like the left does to the point where we can regress society, not progress society a long ways. But here's a piece that um, Fox did with um, about Tulsi. And I actually have no idea what this what they're going to talk about. I got new. And somebody I want to interview now is Tulsi Gabbard because, remember, she ran for president as a Democrat not too long ago. She just put out a couple of tweets that are going to have people wondering what she up to because she just tweeted, I believe in a government that is of, by, and for the people. Unfortunately, today's Democratic Party does not. Instead, it stands for a government of, by, and for the powerful elite. I'm calling on my fellow common sense, independent-minded Democrats to join me in leaving the Democratic Party. If you can no longer stomach the direction that the so-called woke Democratic Party ideologues are taking our country, I invite you to join me. So Newt, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, one month before the election, is saying, you know what? Goodbye, Democratic Party. I'm going someplace else. We don't know if she's going to declare herself an independent or a Republican, although she did speak at CPAC, uh, I believe, uh, what, six months ago. Well, look, I, I think Tulsi is uh, somebody who has always spoken her own mind. She's always been sort of an independent maverick. Uh, and I think when she ran for president, she realized how really isolated she was from the great majority of the Democratic Party, which is now, frankly, a pretty weird party. Uh, we said the same thing happened in a, in a slightly different way in Philadelphia last week, where the former deputy mayor, a Democrat, endorsed uh, Dr. Oz right. to the U.S. Senate and said that Fetterman is just so crazy on crime and so pro-criminal, he couldn't be for him. So I think you're seeing this drift, and we've certainly seen among uh, Latinos, a huge drift towards the Republican Party as they're driven away by the, the weirder policies of the Democratic Party. Young people who make money are leaving New York and Tulsi Gabbard leaving the Democrat Party. Those are the, that's what I've learned from the Newt Gingrich segment today. Newt, thank you. So, yeah. Yeah, interesting. You should, we should see a bunch more leave as well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, because they, uh, uh, the South, the Southern Democrats, you know, uh, used to be pretty morally conservative, and a little bit more fiscally uh, uh, liberal. Uh, but uh, 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 but there's been a lot of quiet uh, right. out of them. And uh, because they they want to if they want a chairmanship of a, of a committee or be on a specific committee, if they open their mouth against the party leadership is they don't get those nominations, those appointments. Mm -hmm. So they get extorted by the same way, uh, actually, uh, 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 Mitch McConnell does. With right. the Republicans, and uh, and and those backs have got to be broken on both sides of the aisle, if you will, because I mean you got to think that most Americans, you would think that most Americans, I mean if you take the majority of Americans, that they want to they want to live in peace, want to be able to earn a living, to be able to provide for their family, be able to help their their family uh, uh, survive well, uh, they want them to have a good education, want them to be safe. Uh, and uh, and they don't want to live in fear of their government or or anyone else for that matter, and uh, and they for the most part probably want to be left alone. Now right. the outliers on that is uh, uh, is who the parties play to mm -hmm. is uh, is and and they try to divide us. I mean I call Obama uh, the great divider. He divided as much as he could on race and finance, and the Democrats are really good at it is is dividing. And we yep. need to stop the division and uh, and and do see where it is. We do get along 
and uh, at least agree on those positions. But we can't give up our positions, especially our moral positions, uh, because otherwise we have no foundation to make a good decision on if we don't have a strong moral position. Right. And uh, so, uh, uh, I mean, good for Tulsi. I mean, I like Tulsi. I've heard her speak a number of times, and and, and I like a lot of what she says. I, I'm I'm a absolutely 100% pro-life guy, and uh, mm -hmm. she's not. So I, I can't vote for anybody who's not pro-life, and because right. uh, uh, to me that's the foundational principle. Is, maybe uh, she'll life, maybe she'll liberty. change in that. Maybe she might change in that. that. I mean, Trump did. Trump did. Trump and did. she's changed and, on uh, other positions, And look too. how much he changed in that. Right. I mean, who would have ever thought that uh, that Trump would have been uh, a conservative that would all really outdo Ronald Reagan right. in his achievements? I mean, he really mm -hmm. did. And uh, uh, especially uh, with all the all the cannon fire he was suffering every minute of his presidency. That and was before such and a even long. After. Oh, my God. That was such a long four years. Oh, Oh. It was terrible. Yeah. And they just can't let it go. But that's that's the tolerant left. They right. they preach tolerance and then they act like that, which it's a lie. It's a hypocrite. Yeah. And uh, they're they're hypocrites about what they do. They're criminal in their behavior. We have a criminal in the White House and uh, and a number of them in Congress as well. And if we can't root them out and uh, and then have a Department of Justice, FBI, like we started our entire conversations on, mm -hmm. prosecute them for breaking the law, just as is uh, uh, with as much vigor as they would prosecute us, then uh, then our country is never going to heal up. It's never going to correct. It's just going to get worse and worse. Right. And they'll have to ramp up their their defenses. I heard uh, Michelle Fiore. She was a uh, uh, I think a councilwoman out of uh, Nevada at, the, at that particular time. I think she's running for governor now. I believe this our mayor of Vegas. And a good gal, she said that the, the government passes law, has been making laws and passing laws to protect themselves from the people they're supposed to uh, represent. And right. they've been doing that for a long time. And uh, uh, and and we need to we need to stop that. Uh, we need to turn that around and uh, and make sure that they know that uh, these laws that they pass, that they hold us our feet to the fire on uh, their their feet should be held to that exact same fire mm -hmm. and uh, no exclusions. Yeah. I'll look forward to seeing what happens uh, with Tulsi in the coming bit. You know, I know she's going to end up doing a lot more podcasts and speaking outside of the party line, because now if she's mm -hmm. denouncing the party line, she, we, we might actually hear a different representation of who yeah, she, she is. Yeah. Well, I think, I think we're, where she's going and she put out that invitation is is they they we hear from the talking heads the the middle is where the elections are won or lost right and who takes those independents so she's going right to the middle and seeing if she can drag enough conservatives to to take her and enough of the liberals right. if you will who right. aren't madmen uh, or women or whatever's right. uh, uh, to to support her so she can represent uh, uh, a middle ground, if you will. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, I'm not all about middle ground, to be honest with you. No. Because I believe in a right and wrong. Yeah. And uh, No, there's when... no middle ground right now. It's, it's nice to see, though, that the left, because, see, the right's not doing that. The right does it, isn't saying, well, let's leave the Republican Party and we're going to become independent. It's, but the left is struggling, the Democrats, I should say, Mm -hmm. are struggling because the leftists have just gone so far left that they can't that the democrats the the classical liberal that's left in there is trying desperately to find a new home and we're seeing a lot of these people end up on the republican ticket they're ending up mm -hmm. on the conservative the conservative mm -hmm. side of the uh the line the battle lines because well there's no home for if you're not an extremist in the Democratic mm -hmm. Party. That's right. And uh, uh, but the left, but the middle, the independence typically is more liberal. Yes. And yes, 100 percent. Uh, and, uh, and it's not good. Uh, we don't need to be there. No, we, we don't. I mean, I think we need to stand. If look, if you want to join, you want our support, you want us to join in. OK, here's some lines. I mean, we can give some lines on some of the spinning and some of these things and even yeah. some of the program things. We can give some ground on some of these things. I mean, we got to be very careful with that, though. Oh, 100%. And, uh, but uh, but it's I the think cultural they, well, thing that needs to, to be it, there needs to be hard breaks right now when it comes to the direction that we are going culturally. 
And mm-hmm. I think there needs to be a a serious regression. Well, who's on children, the culture side? For instance, Mac, are they? If you have a child and your child um attacks someone or breaks their window or mm-hmm. or damages their property who do they go after they go after the parent right right they say right. oh all oh, right uh, oh yeah it's it's the parent's responsibility so when it comes to that type of responsibility the state if you will is uh says okay well the parents it's your your responsibility but any most other responsibilities with that child the state defers to themselves to ha- to have right and uh uh uh, and uh, uh, education, uh, what they're taught, I mean, uh, 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 sex, all of it, they, they, they push it back to the state so the state can make those decisions yep. on those things. And when it's none of the state's business, mm-hmm. it's none of the state's business. Right. And, uh, uh, but uh, I, think, I think that uh, I, I think we're in for a real reckoning because right now what we're seeing and we were, went through with your uh, chart of the transgender youth and all and all. That you had up earlier is uh, is eventually the 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 fruit rewards good or evil are gonna are gonna grow they're gonna show up yep. and uh, and and then we're gonna see what it is that uh, that what we've been doing or allowing to happen uh, has rewarded us with right and uh, uh, when you when you think about uh, uh, education is uh, our 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 country was number one not so long ago, Ronald Reagan era, right. in education. We were always in the top 10, but usually number one, maybe bouncing around with Japan. Now we're 35 or worse. And uh, and why is that? If the liberals who have been running the education system, because it is fully run by liberals, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, the left runs our, our public education, they control it in almost every community, nationally statewide citywide and uh, so if they're if they're right on what it is that they were trying to do that's going to make us a better country and a better people how's that working right i mean how's that working let's just follow the science and check the and check check the statistics about how many teen suicides there are drug addiction Mm -hmm. uh uh uh, broken families a murder Whatever you you name it, dropouts, whatever. Let's see how that's working. How they're doing on math? How they're doing on elect, uh, uh, English, science on their tests? How's that working out? Well, statistically, it's a complete failure. Our education right. system is, but yet they, matter of fact, down in Haverhill, Mass, and there's one other town in Mass, the teachers have been on strike on. It's illegal for them to strike state law, right. and uh, but they're on strike because they want more money. One of them, one of the ones, I think, in Haverhill. Payroll, they turned down a twenty million dollar uh, increase in pay, and uh, and they're complaining about this and that. And they just had two years of COVID, right? Right. And then I hear they who love the children, and I've sat in plenty of school board meetings and listened to the BS about the teachers loving the children. I said, and I, and uh, they don't love the children. The parents love the children. They right. work for the the parents of those children to help educate them. That's what their job is, not to love the kids. I don't want you. Don't even need to be their friend. Just teach them. Teach them what they need to learn and get them out of there. I don't want. I don't care if they're your friend or not. Just uh, educate Correct. them. And uh, but uh, our country now is reaping the rewards of all of that liberal teaching, socially, as where most of it's gone because uh, they replaced academics with social programs. Yeah. Back to the transgender and all the nonsense. And uh, uh, and and that's part of what. Uh, uh, I think that uh, Tulsi is having an issue with is because things are so far off the track. And as she sees it, she's young yeah. and she's a combat pilot. And, uh, uh, you know, and God bless her for supporting the country. But uh, even even it becomes too much for for those who are even on that side. It's like, right. It minute. is. I'm it sure. is. Yeah. Because there's 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 parties within the party that are so divided. And so like the the canyon is so wide. 